hello guys welcome back to my channel um, let's continue with the series of three months predictions for groups in this case it's going to be the turn of icon they had been in my list for a while but uh you know um, the week is pretty short so i never got to actually do them but uh this, this is going to be for them and i also want to share my thoughts because i came across a very I don't know how to call this, but it's a very interesting uh, comment uh, in my Kepler's video. Um, that uh, someone asked me if I have these subliminal messages in my videos. <laughs> and I don't know, I, I just want to share this with you because I, I'm like, I don't, I don't do those things. You know, I, I don't even believe in those things. I think that I mean, you can consume whatever you want, but I always, um, you know, make this uh, clarification that um, I work with the tarot, but with a very therapeutic way. You know, I think that each of us has the ability to take any kind of ritual that you feel comfortable with. In my case, I sage a lot. I use a lot of herbs to clean my space, to clean myself. And I do consider myself an intuitive person, but I do not do those kinds of practices that require requires to manipulate certain energies because I do believe in karma and I do believe that everything comes back to you. So you have to be really careful about what kind of energy you put out and also that you receive. So yes, I want to clarify to this person that I do not do those things. I do not even like those things. I do not read any kind of, I do not consume any kind of those contents. Um, I, I, do, I do use uh, my singing bowl to cleanse my spaces, but I always put the best intentions in my readings. Uh, so if you hear something weird in the background, it's probably my, my neighbors, my very loud neighbors that they are cursing in Spanish or something like that, <laughs> or they are playing some, uh, you know, um, a Spanish song, song in the background. I, I, it's really funny for me. This is why I wanted to share this with you. Maybe you can help me understand a bit what why these people come with these random comments because my channel is not even that big or important so I don't know where people this is why I always like want to like I, I want to sometimes I'm like people are not really listening to in their the interpretation you know they are looking for something else you know I think that their intent their attention is elsewhere um, I came across, since I'm a tarot reader, I came across uh, in, in my, my experience in YouTube with a lot of tarot readers and some of them are really cool and I, I really resonate with their way of interpretation. But some of them, especially in the K-pop scene, um, are a bit dramatic when it comes to how they... Um, how they read the cards, you know, and, and I think that uh, there are also some people that claim that they are psychics. Um, and, and I don't know about that, guys. I honestly, um, I consider myself intuitive, but I also am a counselor. So, you know, I always try to promote mental health, first of all. So I do not encourage like this kind of magical thinking. I want you to be realistic about what you consume and also to be critical but not you know I don't know I don't know what to think about this but maybe you can give me your feedback so I can understand a bit better why um, why people like come across these curious comments like I don't know I'm not even that important you know so I don't know um, so let's continue I'm sorry for the rant um, and for Icon, uh, the group, uh, the cards that they got, it's the Four of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Fool card, the Two of Pentacles, uh, and the Star. And then from the Oracle of Ancestors and Angels, they got the card of um, 
or magic that it's uh, unlock the message within so um starting off with the four of of cups um definitely i think that the guys are they are doing well emotionally you know i think that they there's nothing that is actually missing in their lives i think that they have plenty of uh, very a very comfortable lifestyle you know they probably they also um have good relationships uh in their in their personal lives like they are surrounded by people that love them uh but i think that here with this four of swords is this sense of you know this card is called society you know society um that it's this feeling of feeling full, but in the sense that you are too full, that you have probably too much of something, so you are in this very apathic mode where you cannot like appreciate what you have. Um, I think that the guys, uh, when it comes to their career, there's, there's this sense of, having a lot of love and a lot of support but uh, there's something in them when it comes to art as them as an artist that they feel a bit apathic probably they are not connecting with their artistic self you know there's a bit of blockage here and there's a bit of boredom as well I think that probably they are a bit bored um, and I think that it has to do with them having so many things available, especially resources, that it seems like whenever they want to start something or they want to like create something from scratch, there's always this intrusion from the company of being like, okay, we will take care of this. We will uh, review this, you know, we will finish this we will work on the details and like the guys are like we want to do it ourselves you know we don't want the company to to fill this with fill this with with all their um i think that there are a lot of people involved in their careers and they do not have this sort of freedom and this is why if they create something, it seems like it's, they're not enjoying it. They do not enjoy the final product. I think that um, they had been a bit disconnected of enjoying being a, a famous person. You know, I think that there are moments of a lot of apathy, you know, where they are Part of the company yes they are part of icon but it seems like um there's a lot of paranoia you know this is why the car of despair is here as well there's a lot of paranoia when it comes to how the people are going to build the group you know so probably the company wants to present a sort of image that has nothing to do with who, who they really are so they are in this process where actually they do not want to do anything they do not want to move you know yes probably they want to connect with the fans because the fans the interaction with the fans is what keeps them going i think that they are very loved uh, they feel the love of the fans they feel the acceptance but when it comes to them creating a project or music, there's this sense of despair. You know, there's this sense of them not actually being free to write their own songs or to produce their songs. It seems like they try to, but then when the, once the company finds out, they send one of their producers or one of these people, these engineers that, that somehow change the whole creation, you know, and, and it feels like it's no longer theirs, you know, and I think that it's like 
like oh yes because we want to make it perfect because you are a representation of our company so we have to be perfect you know sometimes the guys just want to be creative and they want to be free to connect work at, with creativity i don't know if i'm explaining myself but this is what i get i get this sort of despair you know this sort of desperation where you want to scream from the top of your lungs you want to scream out of frustration because you are like leave me alone you know they are like like screaming inside you know like leave us alone leave us do what we want to do express how we want to express you know i think that they do have a lot of restrictions or at least that they, they've been having I, I believe that they've been having like a lot of meetings or conversations about how the group should proceed after uh, the the news of, of Bobby's being uh, being a married man or being a father, I think that they are in in in, in this process of having conversations about okay, what do we do with this, you know? And they are like they feel like everything is so superficial that everything that is going to be offered to them uh, is very superficial, and there's a bit of resentment in the in the background you know and i don't think it's between the members it's from the group to the company i think that this resentment actually started ever since they were they were told that they had to participate on kingdom the experience like i mentioned the experience was really nice they really had fun they had even more fun that they were expecting they actually connected with uh, with uh, socializing also with with other people, you know, with with other energies, uh, and they really learned a lot, and they 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 loved it, but they didn't like the way things were managed in the background. So there's a bit of resentment, you know, a bit like we did what you wanted us to do. We are not going, we want to do things differently this time. So I think that they are like rebelling against this sense of them not being the stereotypical boy group. But they never were the, the, the stereotypical boy group. So it's like they are tired of arguing, you know, they are tired of trying to explain themselves why they are who they are why they they stand so strong uh, by the group and by the members they are very supportive of each other so maybe if this has to do with them performing without bobby i think that this is not an option i think that they are going to fight here to stand their ground to also start something new, a new project, but this project has to involve all the members because they are not going to be flexible with whatever this, this company or this CEO or these people are trying to convince them to do. They want all of them together or nothing. This is what I'm getting all of, of them. You know, that they do not have, it's not that they don't want to work. It's just that they don't want to be manipulated. They want to do things their way. They want, they are very proud of who they are as a group and as individuals. So they do not want anyone to make them feel like they are less of a group because they have a married uh, integrant, uh, a, member, a member that is married or whoever, you know. I think that this also touches a very sensitive side of them that it has to do with uh, the member that left uh, also. Uh, um, I think that it has to do with with him as well, you know, with Hambin. Um, I think that after everything that happened with Hambin, they tried really hard to remain together and to stay together as a group and to somehow protect the identity of the group, you know, the identity of Icon 
and also the the love of the fans you know so i think that they do not want again to feel like they have to protect themselves from who they are you know they do not want to lose another member they do not want to present themselves and uh, you know and be like oh yes we we are icon but uh yes this member is not is not going to participate right now no they do not want that they want all the members together or nothing so probably if you spend a few months especially the first months of the year without hearing from them is because they are in the middle of this negotiation but all i can say is that they are a bit tired of having to defend the integrity of the group because they have done nothing wrong actually they have been really really honest and really um like very um very authentic from day one so they want to keep that um and and, and they are just like a bit tired emotionally you know because it does uh it does it does uh re- makes them takes them back to the past you know that they had to to pick up the pieces of of what was left of the group and being like okay what do we do from now we have to we have to show up you know we have to stay strong even though it was it wasn't easy uh and i think that i always talk about this and i always try to encourage people to be very understanding and to be very um very open minded trying to you put yourself in the place of these groups that had lost a member or groups that had to move on without a member or had to deal with the absence of a member it's a sort of trauma for the group for the group's identity and for the members that remain i think that it doesn't matter what the the you know the the consequences or actually the reasons why this member is this member or members are no longer part of the group but you know it 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 seems like it it leaves a sort of like energetic print on on the members that remain that is is hard you know to move on when you when sometimes you think about that person or you want to get reach reach to that person but because of the company they are like oh you shouldn't talk to this or you and everything has to be like done in the shadows and everything has to be very like um secretive you know and and it doesn't feel right you know it doesn't feel right um and you and you know i i here i want to take a moment to actually like like i try to make you understand what it feels like when when a member leaves or is no longer part of the group because it had happened to me i'm not i'm not part of any group but it had happened to me in in work at work when i used to work in a group that uh i don't know why but i was with i was a witness in in several moments where some people of my group were fired and these people were like imagine that i'm working like a my regular i'm working with this person you know in a regular shift and we're talking and we are like working and all of a sudden this person gets a call for hr so they are like okay i'll be right back okay okay go they go and then they don't come back you know so it passes minutes it passes an hour then someone i don't know uh, comes to let me know that that person is no longer part of the company and that i'm not going to work with that person so that person is not coming back to 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 the to the work environment i'm talking about and even though i i still remain friends with these people that used to work with me i cannot express to you how how bad it feels and how breaking it feels when someone tells you that that person is not coming back 
it seems like you froze in your space. You know, it, it's, it's, it's traumatic. It's traumatic. And it feels like, like someone died. You know, I don't know why, but it feels like a sort of mourning. So uh, even though the person didn't die, and of course that the relationship can continue, but the fact that you will no longer see or work with that person again in your everyday uh, routine is a bit heartbreaking. heartbreaking. Um, so, you know, this is um, why I... I, I'm trying to empathize with what they're showing me here, with where the despair comes from. It's like you're not going to touch any, any, you're not going to do any modification in this group anymore. It's like it's all of us or none of us, something like this. Um, and then, yes, we have the Two of Pentacles, that is a card of unity, and then we have the Star card. So, yes, this is actually, this is all about it, them like trying to heal some kind of also a kind of karma you know in the sense that they're they are also going through a sort of detox from things that happened in the past you know they are trying to take the control in their lives and in their group and they just don't want to be someone's puppet you know they they know that the people that the company only utilizes or uses them when they run out of artists to promote or when they do not have anyone else available. So they're like, oh yes, let's send icon. Oh, oh, let's let's give icon a comeback. But it seems like they are put in the in in you know in 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 a, in a corner. And then when they r remember that icon is still around, they are like, oh, yes, let's bring the boys. So I think that this is why they have a strong attachment with each other, be because they were able to survive through all this by, you know, working on their, on their relationship. They have, they are very different. They have very strong um, personalities, but they do have this unity. And they know that how much they mean to each other. They are like brothers. And they only they know what they went through and how hard it was. So yes, the star card definitely is, is here to let uh, icon, iconics, um, icon fans, that they shouldn't worry about them. That everything that is going to happen next year for them is going to be something that it's about their destiny. You know, I think that they will go through a sort of transformation, but things will take a while to develop, you know, because they are still in this mode of resistance. You know, they are still like trying to sort of manipulate the situation to their favor. They are hanging in there, you know, they're trying to, to show a sort of, um, you know, resistance to what the company wants out of them. And I swear that these people are really manipulative. These people, the company people are really manipulative. Um, they, they are very insistent, you know, they are very like, they are very good with words at the same time. So, but they are not having it, you know, they are not, I, I think that they are resisting to whatever, um, they just want all of them to work. So they are resisting, they are hanging in there, uh, but I definitely see that they will have a future where you will see a new beginning of them, a new project, a new comeback, but it's going to take a while. And at the same time, it's going to be something that is going to be very cherished of them. So probably um, it will be very emotional when they come back because... Um, Yes, they need time because they also need to consider that um, Bobby's lifestyle uh, in, in current circumstances are very different to the ones that, um, that are single or do not have a family yet. But uh, nevertheless, they want to, um, they will wait for each other. You know, the, 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 here what, maybe you can see one of two members doing individual things but when it comes to music, they will want to wait a little bit until they can create something that they can resonate with, you know, and not the company being giving them, you know, like some random song 
and being like, oh yes, there you go, there you have it, like go sing that song. No, they want, they don't want anyone else's crumbs. They want their own creation. And then yes, from the oracle, that it's uh, the card of unlock the message within. I think that yes, this this next year it's also going to be a year of a lot of realization for them. I think that the third generation groups are starting to, you know, like um, see through the veil of all the lies that they had been told all these years, unfortunately. I think that they will they will come across information or uh, the, the revealing of some, some important uh, truths that they didn't know or they weren't aware of. So I think that they will they will see the company from other uh, perspective. I think that they are also losing a bit of respect of people that run that company. But uh, I think that uh, there's something that they do not know that I think that this is why the, the oracle is this unlock the message within. But at the same time, I think that it, it this doesn't have to do with them directly. But it has to do with them being told a different version of something that happened. So I think that probably they will be able to heal a lot of things that they had from the past, a lot of resentment, once they find this, they find, they find out, once they come across these truths. And, and also... I think that this this kind of this sort of realization is going to help them connect with writing uh, a very meaningful song or creating something new that is going to be talking about uh, their struggles or their reflections about the past. Uh, I think that in these sort of moments of truth, they are going to find. Um, very important um, messages that will help them um, connect with the new message that they want to deliver to the fans. Uh, I think that they, they all the time think about the fans. They do not want to, um, they do not want to let down the fans and they know that they, they never let down the fans, uh, or let the fans down. But I think that they do feel a sort of responsibility. These guys are very stubborn. Their energy is very, it's all about moving forward, but moving at the pace that they decide to move. So probably, yes, it takes like a lot of months to hear from something new from them, but it's not because they do not want to release something right away. It's because they they are trying to get rid of a lot of manipulation. And right now they are in this situation where they have to be very careful about how they sign deals, if they sign something, or if they agree to something, they have to be very, very um, intelligent, you know, read every little word, you know, also like be careful about what you say, you know, so if they are taking their time, it's because they are trying to be really smart here. Um, and, and this car, this uh, word that I mentioned very continuously about, about them have been this resistant and having to do, to, having to be uh, in this resistance mode is because they are, they want to do what they want to do. They want their autonomy back. So this is why they are like in this mode where no one is pushing them because they are trying to not get manipulated. But at the same time, they are not moving. You know, so is this power struggle? Yes. Is them against the company? Yes. So, but at the same time, they have to maintain a sort of diplomacy. So this is why this sort of like, um, wrestling period is going to be a bit slow, but they are doing it because they do not want to get manipulated again. So, but yes, they are strong and they are very focused and they are very, they know what they're doing. 
So let's let's trust them in the process. So yes, guys, this is all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And of course, don't forget to leave it a like if you enjoyed it. Thank you to the Iconics that are always showing support to my Icon videos. Um, I really appreciate that you keep recommending them uh, to me. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.